Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to enable uh, auto negotiation of maximum port speed advertisement. So in other words, um, normally on our switches like a 7250, 7450, the copper ports are 10, 100, 1000. And so by default, they're going to auto negotiate to the fastest available speed, right? So if I've got a, if I've got a 10, 100, 1000 port at this end and the other side also has a 10, 100, 1000 port, it's going to negotiate to the maximum, which is gig. There are cases where um, let's say it's an older device that even though it has a gig interface, you know it can't handle a gig of traffic, right? Uh, maybe it's an old storage array and it will overrun the buffers and, and not be able to, to you know, write at gig, but it's okay at 10 megabit or 100 megabit. Um, you could do this with rate limiting or rate shaping, but uh, the, by setting the maximum port speed, it's a much better solution. So we can say, instead of the maximum of this port being gig, we can say only negotiate up to 100 megabit or up to 10 megabit. Um, so there might be cases also where, say you're a service provider and a customer's only bought a 10 meg circuit from you, you don't want to auto negotiate that port to gig necessarily and have to rate limit it. You can just set it to 10 megabit. And then if they want to you know, pay the higher subscription rate and go to 100 meg, then you can go back in and change that on negotiation rate, et cetera. Um, so a couple of, couple of reasons why you might want to use it. Uh, relatively easy to configure. Now, uh, we do it from global configuration mode, so config T. So before I do that, um, let's have a look at the interfaces I have. So show interface uh, brief. We can see that my port 111 here is up. It's one gig, right, full duplex. Okay, and port 112, also one gig full duplex. So if we look at those interfaces, show interface E111, uh, we can see that it's set to auto negotiation. It's actual one gig and it's configured uh, and, and it's actual full duplex. So it's come up at one gig full duplex auto negotiated with the other side. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to take this port 111 and we're going to set it to a maximum of 100 meg. Uh, M112, we're going to set to a maximum of 10 meg. So what's going to happen is we are going to advertise out that our maximum speed is only 100 megabit here, and our maximum speed of the second port is, is 10 meg, so the other side will auto-negotiate properly. So um, now I know we can do this if we force both sides, right? If we did a speed dash duplex 100 full, um, then we could do that, but that requires us to hard code both sides. By doing it this way, we can just set the maximum negotiation and still allow auto negotiation to do what it does best, right? So I don't have to have control of the customer's gear or I don't have to have control or take control of the servers or the storage arrays or whatever uh, I want to limit at the remote side. I can still let it auto negotiate. So. Um, what we do is we do this with a command called link config. So it's uh, link dash config um, gig. This only works on gig ports, at least today. Um, copper. It also only works on copper. So this is not a fiber thing. This is only 10, 100, 1000 copper ports. Uh, and then the next is auto neg dash control. Um, and then we set it for the speed. So do we want it to be maximum of 10, uh, 10 megabit or 100 megabit? So we'll set the first port at 10 meg auto. Uh, and then you need to specify what port. So you can specify an, a range of ports. You can specify an individual port. So we're just going to do 111 here. So we could have done a range or we could have done multiple, but we're just going to use one port. And then I'm going to do the same thing with port 112 but I'm going to set it to a maximum of 10 meg. Okay, so I only need to do this on one end. You could do it on both ends, but I realistically, I only need to do this on one end because when that auto nego negotiation starts, one side is gonna advertise out that it's, it can, it's only capable of 100 meg or it's only capable of 10 meg. So the other side says, oh, this is a 100 meg interface or a 10 meg interface, so that's the best I can do when I auto negotiate. So. Uh, that should be all I need to do. And then if we go back in and look at our show interface uh, E111, you'll now see that it's still set to, to auto-negotiate, 
but it's now 100 megabit full duplex, right? And equally, if I look at 112, it is also auto negotiated still, but it's actual 10 megabit full duplex. So it's still auto negotiated. I did not have to set the remote side to make this work. And we'll, we will see that uh, both of those links are up and forwarding. So it did negotiate properly. Um, and then if you want to back that out, you just use a no command to do that. Um, okay, so that's it. Uh, relatively easy command um, and, uh, and quite useful in the field. Thanks for joining and take care.